Hi, my name is Justin Rample, uh, and this is the fourth and final installment of my series on meter in poetry. Part four, we're just going to take a look at a few different examples of different kinds of meter. And uh, these are just to give you an idea of some of the most common types of meter um, and to get a feel for what examples look like and sound like. Iambic pentameter is the most common type of meter out there. Um, and this gives you a good idea of how meters are named and what the names mean. So anytime you see a name for a meter, it's going to be two words like this. Okay, so the first word tells us what kind of foot we're dealing with. Uh, in this case, the first word is iambic. That means we're dealing with iams. The second word is pentameter. That means we've got five feet, penta is five, we've got five feet in each line. Now, don't get confused between syllables and feet. So remember, an iam is a foot with two syllables. First one's unstressed, second one's stressed. Foot with two syllables. We have five iams in each line. So that means five feet per line, two syllables per foot. We've got 10 syllables in the line total. Okay, uh, this is really, really common. The reason why people use it a lot is because it closely imitates natural speech. Uh, blank verse is usually unrhymed iambic pentameter. So that's a common example. Uh, Shakespeare writes an iambic pentameter a lot. So does John Milton. Um, to get a good idea of what this looks like and sounds like, uh, I just took a snippet from Sonnet 18 by William Shakespeare. Um, a sonnet's 14 lines, this isn't the whole thing, but it's just the first four lines, it gives you a good idea. So this is an iambic pentameter, uh, let's listen to it. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Okay, you can hear uh, that the rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B. Uh, the first and third line rhyme, day and may. Uh, the second and fourth line rhyme, temperate and date. Um, but we're not focused on the rhyme scheme here, we're focused on the meter, iambic pentameter. So let's break it down. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Da 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 da. You can hear those two syllable feet, right? Every second syllable is emphasized. There's five feet, 10 syllables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Okay, it's a really nice natural flowy rhythm. Common meter, uh, also called ballad meter, as its name suggests, uh, very common meter as well. Um, alternating iambic tetrameter and trimeter. So the lines actually alternate. One line will be iambic tetrameter, the next line will be iambic trimeter. That means we're always dealing in iams, that two syllable foot, first syllable unstressed, second syllable stressed, da da, da da, da da, like that. Uh, but one line will be tetrameter, four feet, eight syllables, and then the next line will be trimeter, three feet, six syllables. Usually you get these in quatrains, those are four line stanzas, uh, and you often find them in ballads and hymns. Now, people are familiar with this, whether they know it or not, uh, in a lot of cases. So listen to uh, this example from Emily Dickinson, Hope is the Thing with Feathers. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. Okay, it's a very song-like meter, which is why you hear it in a lot of songs and hymns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, it's very sing-song. 
my go-to example is the very famous hymn, Amazing Grace by John Newton. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. Okay, that's common meter or ballad meter. Anapestic tetrameter, okay, crazy name. Uh, again, a very well-known meter. It's the Dr. Seuss meter. An anapest is a three-syllable foot. Uh, unstressed, unstressed, stressed. Da 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 da. Okay. Uh, and tetrameter means we're dealing with four feet. Now these feet have three syllables and they're not two. Okay. So four feet times three syllables means you've got twelve syllables in every line. They're pretty uh, long lines and they're pretty bouncy or comedic. Um, so I'll give you an example from Clement Clark Moore's "Twas the Night Before Christmas." "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse." One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Da 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 da. Um, and Dr. Seuss writes in this meter all the time. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot to the cat and the hat, to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Da, 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 da. Okay, it's, it's uh, kind of a goofy and comedic or lilting, bouncy meter. Um, so Dr. Seuss likes to use it a lot.